This is a tutorial on addition and subtraction involving real numbers. The first thing we have to learn about is real numbers. What is a real number? Well, a real number is just any number that you can plot on a number line. So here we have 2, and we would plot that on our number line right here. 2 thirds, even though it's a fraction, still goes on our number line. It's right here. Here we have negative 4, and even though it's negative, it's still a real number. It would go on our number line right here. And then we have the decimal negative 3.23. Well, it still goes on the number line, even though it's negative in a decimal. It would go right about there. So a real number is any number you can plot on a number line, and the number lines go out to infinity and then back to negative infinity. Now we're going to discuss absolute values. Absolute values are just your distance on the number line from zero. So if we're given the absolute value of three, well we would go to three in our number line and we would count how far away we are from zero. So three is a distance of one, two, three from zero. The absolute value of negative three well, we would go to negative 3 on our number line, and we would find our distance from 0, which again is 1, 2, 3. So an easy way to remember to do absolute values is simply just drop any sign. So the absolute value of a positive 3 is a positive 3, and the absolute value of a negative 3 is just again a positive 3. Now let's talk about adding real numbers. Say we wanted to add negative two plus four. Well, looking at our number line, we could start at zero, and our first number is a negative two. So since it's negative two, we're gonna go left in the negative direction on the number line, two spaces. So to go two spaces, that would take us to here. That's our negative two. Now we wanna add four, and since we're adding a positive four, we're going to move in the positive direction, or to the right on the number line, four spaces. So one, two, three, four. And we get to this point right here. So this point is a positive two, so that means that negative two plus four is equal to a positive two. Let's try this again. Here we have positive two plus a negative four. So again, we start at zero on our number line, we would move a positive 2 because we have a positive 2, so it's in the positive direction, 2. And now we're adding a negative 4, which means that since it's negative, we're going to go in the negative direction, or to the left, 4 spaces. And then we would arrive at a negative 2. So that means that 2 plus a negative 4 is equal to a negative 2. Well, say we didn't want to use a number line every time we had to do an addition. Well, there's another way to do it involving absolute values. Whenever you have two terms that have different signs, you're going to subtract their absolute values. Whenever you have two terms or two numbers that have the same sign, you're going to add their absolute values. And I'll show you how this works. Here we have a negative 17 plus 12. So they have different signs. We have a negative 17 and a positive 12. So what we're going to do is we're going to subtract our absolute values. So we have a negative 17 and the absolute value of negative 17 is a positive 17. And then we have a 12 and the absolute value of our 12, positive 12, is positive 12. So what we'll do is we'll subtract these numbers and we'll get a 5. But our largest absolute value, the 17, comes from a negative number. So this 5 is really a negative 5. Let's try the next problem. Here we have two positive numbers, a positive 25 and a positive 4. So we're going to add their absolute values. So the absolute value of 25 is 25. And the absolute value of 4 is 4, and we're going to add these numbers and we're going to end up with 29. Well, the 
Both of these numbers come from positive numbers, so this is a positive 29. If this had been a negative 25 plus a negative 4, again we would have added their absolute values, but instead this would have been a negative 29 because both of these numbers are negative. Let's try our last problem. Here we have x plus 13 when x is equal to negative 2. Well if we know what x equals, we're just going to plug that in. So this is really negative 2 plus a 13. So we have a negative number and a positive number. So they're different signs. That means we're going to subtract their absolute values. So always take the big one first. The absolute value of 13 is 13. And the absolute value of negative 2 is a positive 2. And remember they're different signs, so we're going to subtract these numbers. And we're going to get 11. Now our largest absolute value, 13, comes from a positive number. So this 11 is positive. Next we're going to talk about subtraction. Subtraction is just like addition, it's just opposite. So if you have a negative 2 minus 3, you can think of this as a negative 2 plus a negative 3. So if we want to do this on a number line, we would start at 0. We have a negative 2, so we would move back or to the left, negative 2, and then we're adding a negative 3, so we would move in the negative direction or to the left again, three more spaces. So negative 2 minus 3, or negative 2 plus a negative 3, remember they're the same thing, is equal to a negative 5. Let's try this one more time. Here we have a negative 2 minus a negative 3. Well, remember, subtraction is the same as addition. You just have to swap the sign on the second term. So this would become positive. We'd end up with negative 2 plus a 3. These mean the same thing. So to do this on a number line, we'd start at 0. You'd move to the left 2 because we have a negative 2. That would take us to there. And then we're adding a positive 3. So since it's positive, we're going to go in the positive direction. So to the right, three spaces, till we get to that point. So that means negative 2 plus 3, or negative 2 minus a minus 3, is equal to a positive 1. Now doing subtraction without a number line is just like doing addition. Here we have negative 17 minus 23. So again, think of this as negative 17 plus a negative 23. Now here we have two numbers with the same sign. They're both negative, so that means we're going to add their absolute values. So the absolute value of negative 17 is equal to 17, and the absolute value of negative 23 is equal to 23. We're going to add those numbers together, and we're going to get 40 but remember, these numbers both come from negative values. So this is going to be a negative 40. Our next example is 5 minus a negative 4. Well, subtraction is the same addition. You just switch the sign. So this is going to be 5 plus 4. Now again, we have two numbers with the same sign. So we're going to add their absolute values. So the absolute value of 5 is 5 and the absolute value of 4 is 4. We're going to add them together and that's going to be 9. And these both come from positive valued numbers so this is a positive 9. Let's look at our last problem. Here we have x minus 10 when x is equal to 15. Well that just means we're going to put 15 in for x so this is really 15 minus 10. Now we have a subtraction here and let's convert it to an addition. So this is really 15 plus a negative 10. Now here we have two numbers with different signs. So we're going to subtract their absolute values. 
we get the absolute value of 15 is 15 and the absolute value of negative 10 is a positive 10 we're going to subtract from these numbers and we're going to get a 5 and our largest absolute value the 15 comes from a positive number so this is a positive 5.